Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about installing FFmpeg on Windows 10. So I'm going to go over two different ways you can install. The first one is using the Windows services for Linux. So if you have that installed, you can go down here to your search and type in bash and you can open up a terminal and get into your, your Linux instance. So from there, you can just type sudo space app space install space FFmpeg and we'll hit enter. It'll ask us for a password. And then from here you can install FFmpeg. But I'm not actually going to, going to install it this way. I don't like this version of FFmpeg. It doesn't support all the hardware on Windows as well. So I'll hit no here and I'll exit out of here. But you can install that if you want, if you're using the Windows services for Linux and you just want to convert files or things like that. So what I'm going to do now is open up a web browser and I'll search for FFmpeg and it'll take us to ffmpeg.org, click download, and then I will click the Windows icon here and click on Windows Builds, and we can choose which version we want, and I like to use the newest versions of everything, and I want Windows 64-bit architecture, and I want static linking, and I'll click Download Build. You wanna be careful you don't click on one of these ads on accident, so I'll hit Save, and that'll download pretty quickly, it looks like. Okay, so now I'll say Open Folder up here, it's going to take me to my downloads folder and I can close this website now and I'll right click on this and I'll say extract all I'll do the defaults okay so I'll double click here okay so if I double click into this I'll see this bin doc presets license and readme so I'll go back one and I'm going to rename this folder I'm just going to call it ffmpeg so now I'll copy this folder I'll go into my PC, I'll go to my C drive, and I'll paste this on here. And now I'll go to this PC, and I'll right-click on it, and say go to Properties. And then I'll click on this Advanced System Settings, and then I'll click on, make sure I'm on this third tab, Advanced, and I'll go to Environmental Variables. And then I'm looking for this one that says Path, and if you don't have it, you can add it. So I'll click on Path, and I'll hit Edit, and then I'll say New. And now I'm going to type in C colon backslash FFmpeg backslash bin. And I'll hit OK. I'll hit OK here. OK here. And I'll close these windows. Now if we go down to the search down here, we type in CMD. We'll go to open up the command prompt. We can type FFmpeg.exe and we'll see FFmpeg will come up. So before I talked about Windows services for Linux and installing it within Windows services for Linux, now if we type in bash, that'll take me into my Windows services for Linux, and within the shell, the Linux shell, I can type in ffmpeg.exe, and it will work in there too. So you could run this here, and then um, you know pipe things to it, whatever you want. So that's the basics of installing ffmpeg on Windows 10. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate if you do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.